guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes 15 and 16 of Twin Star Exorcist. Let's go ahead and get started with episode 15 in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> today, Jesus Christ, you know how, like, today is kind of a good day. You feel like today's going to be a good day, but then at the same time, it's like, eh, like, boring, lazy. I felt that ever since I woke up. Well, you know, because they are a couple. Okay. Is this a date? Oh, it's a date. Oh, that's perfect. But I mean, in the way this kind of looks, it kind of looks like a third wheel. <laughs> oh, never mind. Have fun on your day. So cute, he's nervous. Oh, my God. I'm 
mean, of course it is. There's something interesting about you. I mean, look at the relationship you have with Rokuto. Yeah, you know people go on days all the time. Excuse me. He's not trustworthy. I'm sorry. I know somebody is probably watching this video right now and be like, no, DJ, he's fine. No. <laughs> You're on a date, silly, so of course you're going to hold hands. <laughs> He's so cute. Definitely a guy I would go for. Because it's so cute when guys are shy. I mean, I know there are some guys who think we're, <laughs> we're cute and we're shy. But honestly, when guys are so shy, it's so adorable.
He's so fucking cute. Oh my god. Kids! So adorable! Sunflowers died. <laughs> well, yeah. Fuck, he was just alive. Just fucking talk to him. Of course not. Yeah, I mean, because, you know, you've been a little f suspicious for these last few episodes. And, you know, honestly, I've left it in the back of my mind. But <laughs> now is the time where you need to come clean. Exactly. Just... So sad. Hmm. Of course not. I don't even think I can. I thought like you think he would be like the sweet, innocent kid, but no. Like honestly, fuck him. In the end, you're just gonna have to kill him. We all know that, right? Huh?
It is though, isn't it? See, the question is now, like, can they possibly defeat that? I mean, this is the first time that they're going against something like this. You can't defeat that thing. Damn it! So then what the fuck happened? Was there- <laughs> Hello! Like, are you fucking kidding me? I mean, damn, he, he ain't even, he's barely doing shit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
You don't have to be an asshole about it. That just hurts even more. Even though I ain't crying. That hurts even more. Like, oh my god, that sucks. Jesus. This was literally, you know, even with Benny and Mokoro's like situation of the fact is that they couldn't use their power together and such. This was kind of a definition of like okay let's think about any kind of job up um career and such i can't speak oh my god <laughs> and certain job careers are saying you know you have to keep feelings out and feeling if you don't feelings are what make you weak and not having feelings will make you strong and such like that. This was one of those episodes where you have to keep the feelings of how you feel about someone, whether it is a family member, close friend, brother, sister, whoever, grandfather, grandma, uncle, aunt, anything else that I can currently think of right now. Um, if someone in this business of being an exorcist dies, you can't get emotionally invested because usually that is going to make you weak and you're going against something you are going to put your feelings more in instead of worrying about the fight whatever impossibility that could be your downfall of the reason why you died having someone so close to rogo sucks i wasn't expecting him to die but the funny thing was the sunflowers gave the the signs like right then and there at the beginning they were like still growing then they blossomed and then right when we found out that his friend passed away they were dying slowly fucking close to death to the point where it's like okay what the fuck but I, and i don't like it i it just it's like i cannot get emotionally invested to any of these characters because it's like how long do i have with this character before they die and such this is like oh god <laughs> this is how i felt with fucking akudama drive and how i am still fucking emotionally invested into that damn show and still fucking heartbroken over that damn show even though i love the shit out of it and it's been almost three fucking months since that damn show ended and i am still not over that whole entire damn show i just got a friend into that damn show last night like not even last night two days ago they just finished it last fucking night and I was like, yeah, now you know my pain. How I felt after Christmas, the night before Christmas, crying my ass off over these characters and such. And it was like 2 o'clock in the morning. And my dumb ass is like, yeah, let me go ahead and watch the episode again. I'm not going to cry and such. And I cried like a fucking little baby and shit. But it's just, that's one of the biggest main things. For almost like any job that puts feelings in it. I mean, being a police officer or anything and such you have to put your emotions aside being a firefighter being a nurse my mom's a freaking cna and so even though she also wants to be a nurse when you have a connection with a human or a, per a, a person whoever veterinarian ish when you have to put someone down or you have to tell 
that person's family that they just passed and you can't show those emotions because you have to be strong it's hard and then next thing you know you're going into a different room and you're crying because you felt an a uh, 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 mm, I can't speak again an emotional connection with that human whoever dog animal anything you felt an emotional connection with them so it's even harder for you as a person to move on from that person's death because you really had a bond with them a friendship whatever that you thought would um last until the end and you never know when the end is gonna be and so it's just you have to really always be in the moment with someone or something or whatever because you never know when their time is up or when your time is up and this, this was a really sad episode i mean it went from happy to sad and i mean jesus christ and it feels like the next episode is gonna be just as worse because in this promo rogo was crying and i don't know why and i feel like it's just gonna be worse and mine is in this episode let, let, also let's talk about Mina's dad and why he's basically having you know his freaking Oh my god, like having what's his face take care of his his daughter. I get it because yes, that is his, his granddaughter, but still like oh my god, like is he going to die? I I mean like are you are, are we killing off Midas dad like in a couple of weeks? Like I don't know because why would you say this to him and then leave and you look at Rokuro and Benio a certain type of way, then you leave, then the next time you come up, you tell these children that they're not fit to be exorcists you tell them to go and ish and, and then that's it what the heck sir <laughs> explain give me something i don't know but i need something yeah so go ahead and pause the video and i'll see you guys in one second for episode 16 okay episode 16 and three two one go <sighs> Please don't make me choke again. I don't want that to happen. You want to yell at my dog, Jesus. You know, my dog's just going to be, okay, not, the word is not nosy. It's only because she loves and cares for him. She, she's going to want to know. Like, of course, I mean, whether it's someone who is your best friend, hell, or even your girlfriend, boyfriend, whoever, um, if you, if they seem worried about you because you feel some certain type of way for some weird reason of course your significant other even though in a way she is not his significant other even though i ship the crap out of them um she's gonna want to know what's wrong and even if you say it's nothing believe me we've all been there where we've talked to whether it's our family members significant others whoever and such and we tell them no it's nothing they can just literally look at us and you know that we're lying to their face and like no it's something just tell me what it is and so you know that's why it's it's good to have communication with your significant other and also your family members and even friends because when you need someone to listen to you and rant, I mean, that's the best time. So just, it's nice. It, it really is. I know there's a lot of people out here who don't have someone to turn to, to have them, to, you know, listen to them and talk to them and such and give them advice. And it's sad because everyone needs advice on something. I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. 
freaking side boob. <laughs> oh bullshit. <laughs> Obvious you like him. So Well... <laughs> Because she wants to cheer you guys up. Oh my god.
Maybe Maida should cook every day for you guys. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> oh, Benny. Bye. What the fu- Might have gonna die by the end of this episode, ain't she? Are you fucking kidding me? They seriously gonna have to kill her. What the fuck is this show? Oh my god, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this.
Are you seriously going to kill your own daughter? This some bullshit. Some real bullshit. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That's why every single time when I saw this opening, she's on one side and then something was showing up and I was like, what the heck is that? And I never asked because I was like, I'm gonna wait, be patient. And now we get to this episode and she gonna die. You just have to try. Can't do it, can you? I don't even know if there's anything else you can do. Yeah, but I have a really bad feeling about this. See? There you go. No fucking guarantee. I don't want this.
course it didn't work. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Can you imagine if Maida had died at the end of this episode? Do you know how I would have felt? Jesus Christ, let's just thank God she not dead, like, Jesus, because, oh, God, I would have been like, what the fuck, like, mm, I would have been like, damn, I don't think I can watch the show until Saturday or next week, but like, oh, God, thank God she's okay, but still, I, I get how Wokodos feels right now, if he had this power, everybody who would have died would have still been alive as of today but that is so fucked up now i understand why her dad was like yeah you need to stay away from him and so now the question is is maida gonna stay away from mokuro and banio i mean she almost died today and who knows what could happen the next time if she possibly gets possessed again they might have to kill her if they can't use that power. I mean, it's not like, let's hope and pray that, you know, some of these powers that they get in the show is not like, you know, some typical shonen shows that I watched in the past where it's like, hey, I can only do it once and one time only because that shit is dumb. As much as I love some of the shows that do that, and I'm like, no, 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 you got something else up your sleeve, right? Like, mm, mm hmm, mm hmm, and sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. But. Like, let, let's be a little realistic about this, because you don't know what the hell, it, well, yeah, me, I don't know what the hell is going to happen next. You, person who's watching this, like, yeah, you know what's going to happen next. Hmm? What else is here? Fucking you, Toll. You motherfucker, are you serious? Come on, are you kidding me? You kidding me, right? Like, they could have just got out and we could have been fine, but no, here comes Benny O's brother coming down with his bullshit. <laughs> this is some bullshit. Uh... <laughs> you gotta be fucking kidding me. I thought everything was gonna be fine, you know? Next time we would have saw Maya, you know, she's at home, she wakes up and be like, oh my god, what happened? And then, you know, Rokuro's there, and he explains, and, it, and then he's probably going to say, yeah, we can't be friends anymore, yada, 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 this is that, and the third, BS, 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 shit. <sighs> but no, Benny O's brother had to come down on that high horse. I'm thinking we wasn't going to see him again until, like, at least episode 20, but y'all was like, nope, mm-mm. Here he is at episode 15, 16. <laughs> the fuck? I have nothing else to say about this other than that guy that is very active you towards episodes 15, 15 and 16 of Twin Star Exorcist. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially, y'all, next <clears throat> Friday for Patreons and next Thursday for everybody else for episodes 17 and 18. Bye, guys.